CESAR currently enjoys a membership of in excess of 580 member companies. We employ through those member firms in excess of 21,000 people. And our expertise in, from, through our members over, the, over a long period of time, CESAR has been in existence for 68 years now, in terms of infrastructure de delivery is unquestionable. And we are saying that as a short to medium term intervention, the capacity that sits in the, in the private sector needs to be used as a short to medium term intervention to supplement and to build the capacity or the, the lack of capacity in, in the state. So we are asking uh, that, that capacity from our consulting engineering firms be used. Our utilization is sitting at approximately 80%. So that means that basically one in five people in all our consulting engineering firms are not gainfully employed. So we're sitting with that capacity in the private sector. So what are some of the interventions that can be used? So we are saying that the owner's engineer's concept needs to be, uh, needs to be embraced. There are a number of these types of models that have been used and the owner's engineer's concept is one of those models. This is also one of the models that has been used successfully in a number of industries over a number of years, and it has worked very successfully. So the, the, the concept is that in the short to medium term, the skills that are sitting in the private sector are brought across to the public mm -hmm. sector to capacitate uh, those public sector in institutions. Those skills now that are, sit that, that, that are seconded to the, to, the, um, to the public sector are used to develop the, the master plans, are used to develop the project pipelines, and are used to develop projects to a, st to a stage where they are uh, bankable uh, and feasible projects. Once they reach that stage, then the, the normal procurement process can continue so that separate implementation teams can be brought on board. Um, I think this will also engender a greater level of, count of accountability uh, from the, the teams that are implementing these projects because now they're talking to almost uh, their equals on the other side who can understand and interrogate the solutions that they, they're uh, putting forward. We are also saying that uh, through our member firms, we are also willing to volunteer some of our services. To, uh, uh, this has to be done in a very structured framework. Our member firms obviously run um, commercial enterprises and we need to balance uh, uh, those commercial imperatives. But as a short-term measure, if we need to fast-track and kick-start some of these processes, some of these projects, we are willing to do that.